Hello, welcome back everyone. This week I'm going to show you how to draw a dinosaur. I'm going to show you how to draw a T-Rex from books like Never Ask a Dinosaur to Dinner. It's written by Gareth Mammal, uh, Gareth Edwards. There he is. It's Gareth Mammal, that's his Twitter handle. And uh, of course, the reason you never ask a dinosaur to dinner is because you'll eat the kitchen table. Oops, dropped it. You'll grow fatter while the rest of you grow thinner. So never ask a dinosaur to dinner. This book's full of good bedtime advice. And of course there are dinosaurs and there's T-Rex in Bumpus Jumpus Dinosaur Rumpus. It's written by Tony Mitten. This is the old cover. They've made a different cover, but I don't have a copy of that cover here. And of course the T-Rex in here wants to join in the romp. Well, he wants to crash in the romp. He makes everyone scared with his roar. Crashes in. He thinks all he's going to eat them. In fact, of course, he just wants to join in the dance. There he is doing a backflip. So we're not going to do a dinosaur doing a backflip, although after this you can get your dinosaur to do whatever you want. But I'm going to show you a dinosaur standing about, waiting for... Oh, I don't know, what do you know what dinosaurs wait for? Waiting for extinction. <laughs> no, waiting for his next meal, I think. So, start off, as I usually do with the eyes, squashed circle, let's start off back in the middle of your page. Squashed circle, and put the pupil in, let's have him looking about there, he's going to be looking at us, I think. Another one, I'm going to do it slightly wider apart, because they've got quite big wide faces, heads, haven't they? T-Rex, like that. Now we're going to start off with a dip, going up, a line going over this eye, and coming along at a sort of angle like that. And then a sort of boxy shape for his head. And then we're going to do a curling line here. This is going to be his smile. And do another line coming down here for his bottom jaw. Going straight across because they have big square jaws, don't they? Then put the nostrils in next. You can have one nostril there. Another one there. And we're going to put lots of teeth in there next. But for now let's do this line going in between his eyes and up over the other eye, around for the side of his head, and in for his neck. And this line on the other side of his neck is going to come sort of, sort of between his eyes, come down and round it like that. Now they've got silly little arms, haven't they, T-Rexes? And I don't know what they use their arms for. Can't hold much of that. And he's going to be waving them around. That's about as much as they're good for. And his tummy, I do a little double use for the claws, because I think they've only got two claws on their front legs, haven't they? So follow this line round for his tummy. Like that, that, it's getting wider here. As his body gets fatter. And he's going to have a big back leg here. Big strong muscles in their back legs for running very fast after their prey. So he's going to come down like that. And then out like that and then for the other side of the leg make it quite thick down like that and there's heel coming around so I'm going to move this up a bit so you can see his hip, foot as well let's do his toes one two three his foot's coming down now let's draw his tail make sure we follow this line around tail starts off that a nice Smooth sort of S shaped line. So his tail's going to start off quite fat and then get thinner. Oops. Make sure it gets gradually thinner. And his other leg's going to be next to this one. One, two, three for his claws. I want to do him some nice big sharp claws. Two, three. One, two, three. There we are. Now, oh, he needs his teeth now, doesn't he? Lots of teeth. Some little pointy lines going up and down. Doesn't have to be exactly regular. 
don't mean they've got very regular teeth, have they? All that chomping. And there we go, there's your T-Rex. So let's do a sort of nice loose line for the shadow. So now, usually I like to put a bit of grass around under a character if they're outside, just to show that where they're standing. But there's no grass around at the time of the dinosaurs. It didn't exist. But there are lots of ferns, so I'm going to draw some ferns. Draw some rocks in the foreground here. Put one there. And this is going to be a fern, so a nice shape like that. I can do fronds coming out of it, so a nice curly line coming out like that. And then M's going all the way along it like that. Another nice curly line like that. There you go. I'll just do a few of these coming out. Let's do more, Come on, more of a curl on that one. Towards the inside are more curly, maybe. Don't forget if I'm going too fast, you can just slow it down until you catch up. Another one there. Just have fun doing lovely shapes here. Now let's draw some W's in here and U shapes just to show the texture of the root of the palm. Let's do another one coming out there because I like drawing these. There we are, that's a nice palm. And let's do another tree here, shall we? Let's make it a taller tree this time. Similar one to that. Rounded at the bottom. A few rocks near it, maybe. Shapes underneath it. W's and U's. Just going round. Just to suggest the layers of bark. Now, let's do some lovely curly lines. Nice shapes coming round as it unfurls and some M's following the inside of these lines just as they're starting to uncurl. Lovely. So there's some nice ferns. Now let's have it, something in the background. What's he wait? He's waiting for a volcano to go off I think. A line there. That's the horizon line. Some mountains in the background. Let's have a big volcano here with a lump at the top coming down, with a hill behind it, some rocks coming flying from the volcano. Oh dear, hope one doesn't hit him on the head. And let's do some rocks going into the distance as well just to show what's going into the distance. So they get smaller and smaller as they get further away. Lines for sand. And there you have a T Rex. So I'd love to see your drawings. So post them and add the hashtag draw with Guy, one word, and I'll be able to see them. Well done, you're an artist. See you next time.